Hi, welcome to this video. We are going to talk about Linux kernels. There are at least four kernels that we can try out if a system doesn't work or it's um, hardware restricted or problems of all kinds. Four Linux kernels. Now, before we get to that, I'm going to get the latest Arco Linux 18.9 from the net. So uh, you see also a tip that's useful maybe. Well, there are two divisions. We have the Arco Linux ISO and Arco Linux D. So the big ISO, the minimal ISO and all the builds, Arco Linux B. So we're going to get the Arco Linux ISO. Yeah, we accept. And Arco Linux is there, 18.9.5. And the tip I want to include in the video is this one. When you are downloading, it sometimes the speed is not correct. This time it's going to get it from Canterbury United Kingdom GB, which is not very far in distance. So that might be good for me. But if you are looking at these possible choices, America is here, uh, France is here, Brazil, Japan. So choose another mirror. If you think this is going too slow, it's going to last forever then you just say take another mirror and then you'll um, everything will work fine in the meantime one I let's clean this up in the meantime you see that speed is great at uh, source forge people keep saying ah, it, is, it takes forever it depends of course where you live so the speed is good it's uh, 20.45 megabytes per second which is damn fast so it's here in I don't know one minute 30 seconds it's here so then we're going to install it and I'm going to show you the how to uh, switch kernels. All right, the download has happened. It's there. System is loaded. Arc Linux latest optical drive in the download somewhere. Downloads. Here it is. Open it up. Boot it. Then we move it to this screen. Boot this one. Control F. Right Control F. Quickly go through the screen, the installation, and then have fun with the kernel. This is a project I would suggest you do prior to formatting. So everything has been backed everything has been saved, and so on. And you're going to install a clean install for an, a new version from uh, SourceForge. And anything that has, well, hazardous potential, potentially hazardous, that's it. You just say before I going to format everything, I'm gonna have some fun. All right, okay, backups and let's save and let's um, wait for this installation and let's have some fun. So I rebooted and the live DVD is still in. So I need to take the second line, so boot existing operating system, and this would be like booting from. Except we are in VirtualBox, we end up in XFCE, and the first thing you should do after a clean install are two things, well actually three things I do these days. First, I'm going to check that the Arch Linux servers, you hear me correctly, the Arch Linux servers the fastest one in your neighborhood, in your country, in your surrounding countries, that you are the fastest one. Okay, so that's what he's doing now. Now when you do your update, it's going to come from the fastest server in your neighborhood. And you will need to update. So this is the first thing, or well, the second thing, mirror first, update second. What's happening here already, we were talking about Linux kernels. This is a new kernel that's coming in. So Linux 0.4.18.7 is new. So there you go. When using update you get a new kernel without maybe knowing it then you are upgrading or updating your kernel. So in the end you'll see there's something special. These are all packages that are coming along. The ISO 18.9 uh, we froze it I, I believe 10 days ago, ago or maybe 7 or 8. So this is the amount of updates we get in Arch Linux in 10 days, let's say. And in the end, this is the most important line. If you see these lines, start build for 18.7 and then these lines up here, 
then you know you need to reboot that's one of my rules if there is a new kernel coming in an update coming in just reboot first then do your stuff it doesn't take long it's eight seconds and it's there again the kernel is a new kernel working that's the question that's why we reboot Control alt t this is the latest kernel that we just saw it's here in neofetch you don't need to type anything in like you name minus a and stuff like that you can see sometimes people type this stuff it's here it's the same right okay talking about kernels well the kernel comes from kernel.org and of course linus torvalds is working on that and so is a trillion is a bit much but thousands others the idea is that we go to sudo pacman minus s and then remember the word Linux and then press twice on tap. This is what you can install. This is what we have, Linux. We can also have a Linux hardened. We can also have a Linux long-term support, LTS, and a Linux Zen. And everything is explained on the wiki. I will go to the wiki later. So if you want, for instance, to go, you have older hardware, an older computer, still want to use it, probably it's best then to go for the Linux LTS, so long-term support. It means that the newer features are not present, but that the security features are there. So your best, if, if Linux kernel is not working on a machine, the best guess is to get the Linux LTS first thing uh, when booting or first thing in Arch Linux D, for instance, or Arch Linux B, anywhere, okay? So maybe this would solve, will solve your, your issues. Now, installing this is one thing. I should point you out to this little line that I keep forgetting. So this line, the white thing, I can't remember that. So I've made an alias, and this alias says, update your grub. That's what you need to do, update the grub. After a different kernel, after choosing a different kernel, that's what we do. We say, go and get me this newer kernel there, and then we reboot. Maybe I should get rid of the ISO here. So when we boot, we see everything normal, like so. So you see already the line, Linux LTS, it says, meaning we're booting here you see things are different this might happen that's probably due to the LTS but look out again this is virtual box it's not a real thing so keep in mind that also in BSP WM and awesome that sometimes it doesn't really get how big your screen is so now it does and this is called LTS 4.14 6.9 6.9 9, LTS so Everything working on VirtualBox. Now you test your webcam, uh, in internet connection, anything that gave you issues, uh, touchpad and stuff like that, and see if everything works. How to get rid of this again? So, sudo pacman minus r, and there is two things you see, Linux and Linux LTS, those are the kernels. So you wanna get rid of the LTS again, because that was not working for you. So you type, okay, get rid of it. Don't forget to update grub. It's a combination. If you wanna play around with kernels, you need to tell the grub, hey, there's a new kernel there. So update, sudo reboot, and we should be back in the normal kernel. So the Linux package. It says already loading Linux Linux. So we know it's that kernel. But anyway, we want to be sure, Control alt t and here you have the normal Linux version. Now there were other stuff. Well, maybe this is time to go to the net. So remember guys, there's an Arc Linux hello link here. Get rid of this command or this, this prompt, continue, continue. And we have um, an article ready. So I'm writing and making this video for an article, which is this one. So we're somewhere in the middle. So Linux is here, Linux Zen, Linux Hardened, and Linux LTS. And why Linux LTS? This should be Linux, by the way. So I'm going to correct it and write it 
uh, the, the rest of the article. But the thing is, um, I, did I put a wiki link already? Here is the wiki from Arch. So this is called Linux, right? A stable Linux, but there is also Linux hardened. A security focused Linux kernel applying a set of hardened patches to mitigate kernel and user space exploits. So more security, basically. Long term support, LTS. Okay. And Zen kernel, result of collaborative efforts of kernel hackers to provide the best Linux kernel possible for everyday systems. Okay. So we have four possible uh, kernels to install. We've just done two. So sudo pattern minus s Linux and then we send something. You see there are zens and docs and headers, just the Linux send. And off we go. We get another kernel and see if that system of that kernel is actually working better on our system. It's always the same after doing this. Update grub. Then reboot. So we should get something else. I've done this on SSD already, but doing it on virtual box is always waiting what will happen. Okay, we found the resolution anyway. So we have now another name up here. It says Zen Zen, double Zen. So that's that's cool. We are in Zen state. All right, getting rid of it and getting this hardened thing in. Minus R. Linux Zen is out. Bye. And you see, I don't just install uh, the Linux hardened directly. I just, to be sure, go back to this normal Linux version and then maybe it takes a bit longer, but I'm sure my system is still booting up. Like you see, it's the kernel from Linux. Control T, we're back with at square one. This is the kernel that uh, we had a few moments ago. This is the normal Linux kernel. So still everything working. That's also nice to know. And then the hardened one, 4.18.7.a-1. That's installed almost. Or you type the long name, if you can remember it, or just update grub. So the reboot. There you go, Linux hardened is already written there at the top. There are some errors, errors, resume, hibernation, it may happen that kernels provide uh, messages. So if, if, if your hardware, well, it will be different than mine hardware. First off, this is VirtualBox. I did see on my SSD that I got some lines, some red lines in there. Doesn't matter. If the, the issue you had is solved, go for it, use that kernel. So control T, here we see we are a kernel. We have a kernel that's hardened. And again, if you want to get rid of it, so that's a more security version of Linux kernel. Let's remove it again. Update grub. And after that, sudo reboot. And we'll be back at the normal Linux version. Couldn't be easier, easier actually. The only thing is, um, things can go wrong because of the hardware you have. So it's um, a trial, an error, but maybe also a success story. If you see that your old computer now works uh, the way it should work, then it's a gain. All right, enjoy testing it.